Okay, here we are in Tarboro. The river's looking rather low. It's abnormally dry, but it's not quite considered a drought yet. But I don't think I've ever seen it quite that low. So I think I'm going to check it out. Especially since the bridge is right there. And that bridge has been there, or a different bridge, for at least 125 years. So people like to throw trash off the bridge. At least there's going to be a few sodas, undoubtedly. I think I'm going to try the random probing for individual bottles. I usually get bored within five minutes of doing that, though. But if nobody's tried it near this bridge, then it should produce some kind of result. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should have kept my glasses on. The polarization would help because it's looking pretty bad right there. As you can see, there's a Mountain Dew bottle sitting right there. Not exactly what we're looking for, but I'm sure if somebody was to take a giant backhoe and tear all this asphalt out of here, there'd be bottles buried all over this place from the 1890s. All right, we got the Mountain Dew bottle. Plenty of modern bottles over here as well. Ah, uh, great. Now I'm stirring up the mud and clouding up the water. Oh my god, look at that. It's coming right at me. I don't think it's a venomous snake, but... Certainly you don't want to get bit by any kind of snake. Okay, looks like we might have a soda bottle right there. Amongst all the modern bottles. I'm thinking this is probably modern as well, but... It's looking like a Coke bottle from the 60s. Sometimes I can hook a bottle with the end of this pipe handle. Yeah, there it is. They're just pretty tight, but no, it's a Pepsi. Well, it's getting deep pretty quick. It's hard to even walk on the shore edge because it's already 14 or 15 inches deep, just two feet off of it. Now I know why they use kayaks to search for bottles around here. And yet, a lot of people do that. So even if I was willing to get all wet, probably wouldn't find anything because like five times a year people come out here looking for bottles in their kayaks, canoes and whatever. So even though there's less chance of bottles ending up way over that way, at least it's going to be a lot more shallow. Uh, I can tell the bottle collector's been here and set those aside. It's not too good. I generally think it's a waste of time to do this, but it is abnormally dry, so. Also, the ground is abnormally hard, so probing for privies and dumps is not working today. Yeah, this reminds me of when I first started bottle collecting. Searching in a half dried up lake. Because it's the only way I knew how to find bottles at the time. What's that? Interesting. Oh my god. Really? Is that a Palmer perfume? Just randomly sitting here with all these 1990s bottles? Yes, it's broken, but still. Could saw it off right there where that ring neck is and that'd be the new top yeah it's even embossed perfumer blown in the mold super beautiful color kind of strange that that would be here yeah this area definitely looks like it's drought stricken but 
what are the odds of a bottle sitting on top of one of these sandbars in a high population area with a high population of bottle collectors as well? Yeah, I can walk all the way across the river now. The deepest part looks like it might be 14 inches. Uh, just my luck. It's getting windy and now all these ripples are making it that much harder to see through the water. I still wonder just how much alteration is there in the soil when the water's flowing over it. Maybe it is quite a bit because I don't remember the sandbar being like this on this side of the river. So maybe this all just washed in. I'm not liking this. I'm feeling like almost every day somebody's out here doing this already. So for me to find anything would be a practically a miracle. It's just a day for looking at scenery, I guess. Hopefully you'll enjoy this view. Millions and millions of minnows all over the place. collectors come down here. This is where Hendrix Creek comes in and many bottles have been found in there. So I usually don't find anything but broken bottles in there. I'm sure it's been searched at least a thousand times in the last 50 years. Well at least it's nice and shady. Didn't even bring my probe this time. Just brought a shovel. Thinking I might just randomly start digging in here. I'm thinking that's probably the only way to find anything. Yeah, I'm sure it would be great if I was the only one that was doing this, but there's probably 10 other guys that do this all the time. Interesting view though. I heard from a number of people that after Hurricane Floyd came through in 1999, I think it was, that a lot of these embankments got eroded out and unknown dumps were found from the Pepsi and Coke company from 100 years ago, where literally hundreds of straight-sided Cokes and Pepsis would just be rolling out of the bank. But if that's true, there should be hundreds of broken ones laying around, but there's zero. Okay, whatever this is, is from Greenville and there's nothing embossed as far as Coke or Pepsi. 
That is really weird. Hmm. Clear and kind of thinner than normal. Is that a Pepsi variant? No, I've seen so many Greenville Pepsis. I don't think there's one that looks like that. Okay, there is a lot of glass in the sandbar, and some of it looks from the 1890s and early 1900s. That's blown in the mold top. Nice and clean. Probably they threw it away because they thought that was a crack in there. But I'm going to bring it home for repair purposes. That is very crude. Look at the neck is bent. No, I don't think it was melted either. This could be from the 1860s. Very primitive. Yeah, I think this is the spot to do a random dig. Just going to start throwing this sand up onto the bank over here. I used to have a lot of patience when I was younger, surprisingly, but now as I get older, five minutes of digging, and, and if it doesn't produce any results, I quit. But we have a lot of things. That's obviously 1915. And property of Coca-Cola Tarboro. Don't see that variant very often. So that's making me think this is a good spot for a random dig. Got a couple other old pieces over here. So yeah, I think I'm going to dig somewhere right around here. Yeah, it's a slow day for digging, so I think we'll make it a nature documentary. Are you getting bored yet? I am. There's a piece of obvious Pepsi straight sided from Tarboro. And here we got a early 1915 with a 4 on it. Probably made in 1917 or 18. Yeah, I think it's going to be more productive to go to this dump that I know of in the next town over. Hopefully nobody's been there and wiped it out because I think it's only got a few days of digging left and it's been over a hundred days since I've been there so wish me luck. Let's go on over there. On second thought you're gonna have to wait till next week to see that. So come on back. I promise it'll be much more interesting than this video.